Jono, a uh, very disappointing day here at Liversedge. To put it mildly, yeah, uh, very disappointed. Disappointing performance. Um, you know, we keep saying every week about being defensively strong, but um, can't keep conceding goals like we have been. It's um, it's just too easy for the other team. Uh, yeah, we had chances to score ourselves, quite a few opportunities. Um, didn't fall for us on the final ball or final shot. But um, if we keep making mistakes like that, it's going to be um, every game we'll be losing games. So, uh, but a good, another good chat, probably the eighth or ninth chat of the season about our defence, defensive uh, displays, not winning headers, not winning tackles, not winning blocks. Uh, but it's a recurring theme at the moment, so uh, the players need to uh, buckle up quickly, otherwise um, we're not going to get the results we want. Obviously we won the first, uh, well, we didn't concede a goal in the first five games and we're like a, we've got a big big leak going on at the moment. What, what is it personnel? The tactics? Well, what, at the end of the day, the, the, um, the responsibility lies with me. I put the team, the, the shape of the team. Um, but when the players go over the uh, the white line, they've got to, they've got to produce the goods. And uh, at the moment, you know, I, I, I speak as the whole team as a defensive unit, and uh, we're not doing it right from from the front all the way to the back because um, you know um, the goals we concede in us are schoolboy stuff, really. So um, yeah, I'm responsible for the team and the formation. But once the players cross over the line. They've got to show a bit of heart and a bit of courage and uh, a bit of um, you know ment mental toughness not to get bullied and you know to get in the way of shots and get in the way of tackles and, and run and compete and um, we're not doing that at the moment and uh, you know um, like I said earlier eighth or tenth time we've had a, a big conversation about it in the change room they're saying the right things before games the right things at half time but it's not um, not doing it on the pitch so um, yeah next Saturday we turn our attentions back to the league action. Um, what are the preparations now? How, how can we avoid this from happening again? Well, we have to keep working, uh, keep working on training ground. Obviously, train Tuesday and Thursday, um, going into the game. But um, might have to shake the team up a little bit. Um, some of the players who, who play today probably don't deserve to start next next weekend, and that's just me being brutally honest. Um, you know, um, so I might have to shake it up a bit, and um, people have to take it on the chin because at the moment they're not performing on the pitch, and uh, that's why our results have uh, been so negative at the moment. Cheers, Jonathan. Thank you. Cheers, Jack.